So the football pool game is all about innovations. Who can come up with the next crazy, mind-blowing idea that would take football boots even further? Now, in 2014, the biggest innovation was the introduction of Nike Flyknit. Then in 2015, it was the 99 Grand Boot from Adidas and the Puma Evo Speed SL. And in 2015, we got the laceless technology from Adidas and we got Nike Anti-Clock. And to some people, it even was the introduction of the Boost in Seoul, although it didn't really matter. But the brands have kept going. So what's the biggest innovation of 2017? Well, let's take a look today and let me know your thoughts right down below. The first big thing is from Nike and the innovation kitchen. It's called Fit Mesh and it sits on the inside of the boot. So it's difficult to show to you guys. But what it basically is, is that it's an inner liner that sits independently from the rest of the leather upper. So it really moves independently with your foot. And it takes care of locking your foot in place the more pressure you apply. Think of it a bit as a Chinese finger trap. The more pressure you apply, the tighter and more tense and strong the material gets. So if you don't apply any pressure, it's nice and soft, it's comfortable, but when you need it, it locks you down. And potentially, if this worked, it would change the lockdown game on its head and really allow uppers going forward to be much softer, simply because they didn't really have to have that structural integrity to provide any lockdown because you know, fit mesh would take care of that. And of course, while it did work, it didn't cause my jaw to drop all the way to the floor. With that said, it's an important addition. I like the application of the tech, and I think there's a lot of potential going forward with the fit mesh. So maybe in 2018, they'll blow the whole thing wide open. Then, <laughs> there is this zipper on the brand new Under Armour Spotlight which is basically there to make the lacing system underneath, which is brilliant in itself, by the way, more accessible. So you can tie up your laces without any fuss, no difficult fingering under the lace covers on the X17 Plus. And then after that, you can really tie up your boot to give you a really clean striking surface where you feel there's nothing in the way. And obviously the jury is still out on the whole zipper system. I think it's actually a very decent construction. It is relatively low profile and also it has, should we say, a very visible low practical functionality because you can, you, I mean, it's a simple. You can see that it works. But of course, there are also potential stumbling blocks. I mean, who really wants to have the risk of hitting the zipper? You might miss kick it and hit the zipper when you strike the ball. Who wants that? Not me, that's for sure. And while I do think that the boot is impressive it feels really really good it's slapping a zipper on the boot really the biggest innovation and the biggest game changer of 2017 moving on to adidas and their biggest launch this year the nemesis 17 plus and of course the biggest showstopper technology on that one the torsion tape and it's really built around the idea of taping up before you go out to compete to help you with your speed and your stability and it's built for athletes who need to be fast and flexible, and most important of all, super agile. And this is the technology, the stuff that sits as the centerpiece of the Nemesis 17 Plus that really allows the boot to be laceless, but still also give you a very tight fit. And actually, I love, I love torsion tape. Apart from the fact that it's, it's pretty fun to play with, I also think that the material itself, the idea behind and the application is absolutely brilliant. And as I said, so many times before, it gives you a really, really tight, very unique fit. But as I've said before, it does lack a little too much lockdown to be absolutely perfect. But just as with fit mesh, I think there is a ton of potential in the torsion tape. And I am pretty sure that Adidas are going to play a lot with it and make it even better over the coming years. Lastly, we have the Puma NetFit technology, which has been slapped on the side of the CT360 indoor shoes and a lot of their running shoes. And basically what it does is that this net gives you a lot of little holes that replaces the normal lace holes in a straight line. Basically here, you get lace holes all over, so you can create your own lacing system and you can customize it and adjust it just the way you want it. Say that you have a wide foot. You want to make a lacing system that's not very wide over the top. I'm just going to finish it up here. You just put 
the lace inside the loop here, you pull it out, and that's you done. If you, on the other hand, have a slimmer foot, you want to go for a deeper lacing. So let's just go down here, put it in the loop, and just pull it up. Basically because if you have a slim foot, you want the upper to wrap your foot a little bit more. Do you need more heel lock down then? No problem, you can just do it differently here. I've gone for a slightly narrow foot configuration on the midfoot and then a heel lock configuration on the heel, simply to make sure that the heel locks in a bit tighter around the heel of your foot. If you overpronate, okay, that's no problem. You can just go for a normal high lacing on the inside and then go for a deep lacing on the outside, etc., etc., etc. You kind of get the deal. The options are limitless and it all depends on how you want to do it. Of course, there's also the question, does the NetFit technology last? Is it durable? Does it rip if you get tackled and all that stuff? And the big question, why is this not on a football boot yet, Puma? I mean, I want this. It basically means that Jolter, who has wide feet, and myself, who has narrow feet, can enjoy the same boot equally much and get a customized fit. Doesn't that sound good? So, what can follow up on the insanely good 2016 in terms of innovation? Is it gonna be NetFit, torsion tape, the zipper, the fit mesh? To be honest with you guys, I actually like them all a lot, but I do think that NetFit is gonna be the biggest game changer, and I think it's the biggest innovation of 2017, simply because of the fact that no matter who you are, this will actually give you a personal experience, a very customizable fit, an adjustable lockdown, no matter how you want it. And for me, this has to be what the future will look like in some sort. And I really, really, really hope that Puma someday, relatively soon hopefully, slap this on a pair of their football boots, because I want this on the pitch. But what do you guys think? Which is the biggest innovation in 2017? You should let me know in the comment section right down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the green bubble somewhere over my head. Leave me a like if you had a good time and spread the word by sharing the video with your friends. And with that said, I'm signing off. Cheerio.